Today we are comparing, ordering, and rounding whole numbers. You'll need to have your notebook ready to roll because we are going to answer these questions. How do the less than and greater than sign work again? How can I compare whole numbers? How can I put whole numbers in a given order? And how do I round whole numbers up to a million? Let's get started. Ah, remember these signs? Right here it says 653 is less than 892. And the other one says 653 is greater than 892. Well, they both can't be right. The question is, which sign is correct? Well, the easy way to remember it is alligators bite big. They don't want snacks, they eat large things. So we always point the teeth toward the large object. Easy enough? Should be. How are whole numbers compared? Well, the first thing a person wants to look at is is one longer than the other because when you're dealing with whole numbers it really is how you know. Right here we've got 16,654 and 4,086 so obviously that one's longer. Now take a look here because I'm cheating. This one is longer but because I put a zero in front it's not really longer. Remember zeros in front of a whole number don't change the value. These two are actually equal. Okay, so what if one's not longer than the other? Well, then we simply compare left to right. Here I've got 4,000. Here I've got 2,000. Now in this case, I've got both numbers starting with 6,000. So if that's the case, we're going to jump back to the second number, kind of like we do when we're doing ABC order with reading. So if the first number is both 6, let's go back to the hundreds. This one has 900s, this one has 800s, this one's larger. And what if it's even further back? Well, here we've got 5,000s, here we've got 200s, but this one has 410s and this one has 710s. That makes this larger. We might take comparing and extend this task by ordering a group of numbers, which is really just comparing four of them or more or whatever. The first thing I need to notice though is how do they want me to order them. In this case it says order them from least to greatest. So it means my smallest has to go first. And the next thing I want to notice is are any of them obviously smaller or larger than the other? Well 502 only has three digits where the others have at least four so we know that's going to be the least. And 14,987 is obviously larger than the others because it has five digits where the others only have four. So that one will certainly be my largest. So now I've got two down and I just need to deal with the ones in the middle. So that gives me two four digit numbers. This one starts with five thousands, this one starts with three thousands. This is the one that needs to come next because it has only three thousands. And there we have it, we've got our four numbers ordered from least to greatest. Now the second example asks you to do something a little different, so you can see why I had that. It asks us to go from greatest to least. So just like last time, I'm going to ask myself, are any of the numbers obviously longer or shorter than the others? And you can see this has six digits, that has five digits, that has six digits, that has four digits. So this is going to be the least, and it's going to be the last one I list because I'm going from greatest to least. And that leaves me with three numbers. These two are six digit numbers. This one's a five digit number. So it's my next smallest one. And I'm going to list that in front of this, the 9,842 I already have here. And that'll leave me with two six digit numbers. Now, unfortunately, they both start with nine in the hundred thousands place. So I'm going to have to scoot back to the ten thousands. Ah, but this one has eight ten thousands and this one only has zero. So this is my greatest number and this is my second greatest. And there we have it, we've got our four numbers ordered from greatest to least. How are whole numbers rounded? Well, I know this is review, but it's worth taking a look at again. First thing you need to ask yourself is to which place are you rounding? Well, find it and underline it. So we want to round to the nearest 10. We're going to take a look at 57, we'll round to the 10, so I'm going to underline the 10's place here. And I'm going to look to the right. And then you'll remember that rule that you learned earlier is that digit five or greater? Five and above, give it a shove. Four and below, down you go. 
So 7 is greater than 5, which is going to cause this to be shoved up to 6. And then the digits behind become a 0. If we take a look at 64, well, we're doing 10s again. So I'm going to line my 10, look to the right. Whoops, 4 and below, down you go. So strangely, 64 also rounds to 60. So take a second, stop the video, jot that rule into your notebook. 5 and above, give it a shove, 4 and below, down you go. And let's practice with a couple more. Let's take a look at 2,481 to the nearest thousand, hundred, and ten. Well, to the nearest thousand, I would need to underline my thousands place and look to the right. There's a four, four and below, down you go. So rounded to the nearest thousand, 2,481 is 2,000. What about the nearest hundred? Well, here we have a four in our hundreds place, so let's underline that and look to the right, which there is an 8. So 5 and above, give it a shove. This is actually going to round 2,500. Okay, last one. Let's try the nearest 10. Okay, at 10's place, we have an 8. Look to the right. There's a 1. 1 is definitely lower than 5, so down we'll go to 2,480. So this time I picked a number that would be a little tricky on purpose. I want to round 948 to the nearest 1,110. Well, wait a minute. What are you talking about rounding it to the nearest 1,000? There's only three digits there. Well, take a look. I can't round here. I can just pretend there's a zero. But if I look to the right of the thousands place, I see the hundreds place, and there is a nine. Nine is bigger than five, so actually 948 to the nearest 1,000 is actually 1,000. And if you think about it, that makes sense because 948 is closer to 1,000 than it is to zero. Let's take a look at rounding it to the nearest 100. So if I wanted to round it to the nearest 100, then, well, here's my hundreds place. There's my 9. Look to the right. There's a 4. 4 and below, down you go. This is going to round to, there's 100, 900. Now let's roll it to the closest 10. Well, the nearest 10, we've got a 4 in our 10's place. Oh, come on. Look to the right, there's an 8. 5 and above, give it a shove. That's going to round us to 950, which makes sense. Again, 948 is closer to 950. It's only off by 2 than it would be to 940. Stop the video, grab one of these examples, and add it to your notebook. So, today we have answered the questions, how do those greater than and less than signs work again? How can I compare whole numbers? How can I put whole numbers in a given order? And how do I round whole numbers up to one million? You will find a quiz when I load this into Sophia. Work on that. We'll see where you are tomorrow. Have an excellent afternoon.